Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Cassidy. And my name is Cole. And we wanted to share a little bit about our baseball life with you guys today. Um, we have a few questions that we're going to pull up on Cole's phone and we're going to look at that frequently throughout the video. These questions came from our baseball life, the Instagram and um, baseball account that I like to follow and they provided this template because it's a lot of the questions that we get asked and so just to kind of fill you in on what our baseball life looks like and some of the unique things in the baseball world. All right, question number one is who does Cole play for? I play in the Houston Astros organization um but i'm in the minor league levels right now getting ready for my first full pro season in the minor leagues next question okay so the next question is like wow so he plays for the astros like what's that like and he doesn't play for the direct astros major league team he's in the minor league system a lot of people think or like i've had people just assume that because i was drafted that I get sent right to Houston and like I'm all, all of a sudden a Houston Astros player, which is drastically not how it works. After I was drafted, I was sent to our spring training facility in West Palm Beach, Florida. And that's where I started. And it's basically just a long journey now to work your way up. And there's a lot of levels. Some of the organizations are different, but yeah, there's about five, six different levels for each organization. So, some of you may be a little confused now thinking about how the levels work. How it starts off is there's rookie balls, uh, rookie ball leagues, and for the Astros, I started in the Gulf Coast League, which is in Florida. Very beginner league. Um, guys who rehab from higher levels will come down there and play. So, I started there and I played uh, a couple games in the Gulf Coast League this past, uh, last June. And so after the rookie ball league, there is a short season league, which is the next level up. And basically uh, it's like half of a full pro season. After short season, um, we get sent to full season A. So then uh, full season A is in Davenport, Iowa for the Astros. After full season, it is advanced A, which is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And then double A is uh, in Corpus Christi, Texas, AAA is in Round Rock, Texas, and then obviously Major Leagues is in Houston. So it's pretty nice, I guess, that AA and AAA are all in Texas, pretty near the Houston area. So another question that we get asked, or you know, could be a question that you might be thinking, is so does Cole actually like want to be a pro baseball player then? Because he technically already is. Once he was drafted, he was drafted by Major League Baseball, and. You know, just because he's not playing in the major leagues doesn't mean he's not a pro because he's getting paid. And um, a better, you know, way to look at it would be like, yeah, his goal is to be a major league baseball player um, because he's currently in the minor leagues. But, you know, he is still a professional in the professional baseball world. Another question that people might think or is another misconception is do baseball players like Cole make millions of dollars? Cole, do we make millions of dollars? Uh, no, we make <laughs> the opposite of millions of dollars. So, we make very low compared to millions of dollars. Yeah, it's not like that at all for pro baseball. Um, it's been a really like hot topic the last year, two years especially. Um, a lot of minor league players are kind of getting pretty upset with how, how much we actually make compared to the amount of work we do. And so, yeah, we really don't make much at all. Um, and we, even, we don't get paid year round. So once I start baseball... Once I head down to spring training, um, we aren't paid at all for being there while they're at spring training. And then our whatever team we start with, um, we start getting paid and we are paid for the six months that we're in season. But as soon as the season ends, we are not on the payroll. And then minor league baseball players uh, have to go work a job, work two jobs. And... So that's a little, that's a pretty common misconception and it was a misconception for myself. I remember I was in New York this past summer and I was talking to some of my teammates and I just assumed since we're making so little that we would be paid in the off season. Mm -hmm. And I was basically just made fun of because <laughs> I thought that it made sense considering we're getting paid so little that they would just keep paying us in the off season it is not how it works. So. Yeah, don't get paid much at all, but as you rise each level, you start to make a little bit more and more money. Still, 
very underpaid, especially if you look at like the hourly of how long they're at the field compared to what they're making in those hours. Um, yeah. It's like a dollar an hour, really. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, honestly. And so, I mean, granted, we're not working like a, a nine to five typical job, but and stuff like that. I still think that we should probably make a little bit more than what we make right now. We're doing a lot of work. It's the only thing that I really focus on. So I, I treat it like a job and I work at it like that, like such. So, yeah. Yeah, and it makes it hard. He can't just go get another career while he's trying to train with baseball. It has to be, you know, even in the off season, it's not a normal schedule. He can't just go get a full-time job for six months out of the year and then quit and go get you know, back to baseball. He can't just focus on one thing and then switch back, right back to baseball. So it doesn't really set you up to to make a lot either way you look at it. And some guys are really blessed with a, a big signing bonus, depending on when they were drafted, what level, or when they were drafted and um, how old they are. But um, that's not always the case for like a senior sign, especially. So the next question would be, are you sad to leave home? And for me, for my first year traveling with Cole, I am very sad to leave home. Um, I've never lived away from my parents besides, you know, a couple hours or my family a couple hours. So being that we're going to be in Florida and then perhaps, you know, Davenport or wherever we would be sent, um, I'm really, really sad. And I know I'm already going to make trips home as much as I can, but you know, it doesn't really, I mean, as much as I can, it still isn't as much as I would wish. Me, uh, being that I played at Iowa and uh, we've had schedules, baseball seasons, just how it is. I've already been away from my family during baseball season. So my from for myself, I'm already kind of used to it. It doesn't make it any easier, but I've just grown to accept it. And obviously I'm playing the game I love and uh, getting to play against the best athletes in the world and baseball players in the world. So it's a lot of fun, but uh, I have two younger sisters and a younger brother. And for me, it's kind of hard because I would like to be there to support my, uh, my siblings and stuff like that. But because of baseball, can't make that work. We play base, we play a game every day, essentially. So yeah, it's definitely more tough for, it'll be more tough for Cassidy. And I'm sure there'll be some tears shed uh, already have already have said. Said. The next question is where will we be living when we get to spring training and if Cole were to go by himself the team would put him in the team hotel and so he would get that provided for him and like be bunked with another teammate um, but since we're married we don't get that we will be given you know a, a chunk of money to be able to go live somewhere else or wherever we decided we wanted to live um, so we were really blessed to find an apartment or a townhouse I guess with someone in Jupiter, Florida. So we'll be like 20 minutes away from West Palm Beach. And I think it'll be really perfect. I think we're 12 minutes from the beach and walking distance to a lot of things. So I'm really excited because I won't be the one working, but you know, it'll yeah. still be fun. Yeah, we were kind of nervous uh, throughout the fall and we were like looking for Airbnbs. We didn't know how it would work out. West Palm Beach is an extremely expensive area. So, <laughs> A lot of the things were out of the budget and luckily we had this opportunity fall in our fall in place and mm -hmm. uh yeah won't be too far from the facility um it's a the place will be as a beautiful neighborhood and we're just extremely blessed to uh have a place to stay and we're able to live with one another okay next question is will we be moving to florida permanently or how long will we be there yeah so spring training uh is about five weeks we will be there the month of march and a little bit in april but then towards the last uh week or two of spring training uh players are assigned to their location so um the last week of march i will be told where i'm going and then we will be sent to that location uh, and then I'll start my season wherever that may be. We'll be jumping around, living kind of like a, a nomadic lifestyle, essentially. At the minimum, we'd be somewhere probably six months or four months, yeah. um, depending on the season. But, you know, promotions and, you know, demotions, I guess, can really fluctuate. And depending on the year, um, it could always be changing. And it changes for yeah. a lot of people. So, Cassidy, do you even like baseball? Or am I basically forcing you to... <laughs> watch every game when you hate it. No, you don't force me. I really like the game of baseball. I liked it even before I met Cole and I really loved that he played, of course. I thought it was so fun to watch him and I've always grown up 
around the game with my family. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed getting to watch him and it's making me super, super excited for this season and knowing that I'll get to watch him in spring training and then I get to follow him and go to every game and eat my fair share of ballpark dinners most of the time. I mean, I'm super thankful that she, one, likes the game of baseball and obviously two, loves me. So it's a, a good combination because I know it can get, it'll be a long season and I'm sure she'll get tired of going to all the games. Uh, and being that we don't get much breaks, there won't be a whole lot of time for us to like go on a date or you know spend a whole lot of time together, which is just how it is. But uh, it's a definitely a good thing that she does like the game of baseball and she's willing to uh, come watch games every single day, basically, as much as she possibly can and, and enjoy it and be there to uh, support me. And I do understand what's going on. Yeah, she does actually understand the game of baseball. Final question is, is baseball life hard? And I feel like everyone would have their own take on this question. And maybe for us beginning, it isn't technically that hard. Like it's a pretty, you know, unique lifestyle. So just because it's unique doesn't make it hard though. Um, most people don't go through what we've, you know, had to maneuver, um, but it doesn't make it hard. It just makes it, you know, like Cole kind of mentioned, nomadic and unique and we have to follow our own path and I won't be able to work, you know, a full-time job because I can't just get a job and then quit to follow him whenever I want. And that's like a choice that we've had to make. Um, there are plenty of couples that the woman will, you know, get a full-time job and work because she just, she wants to be, you know, at their house and living where they are. And eventually maybe we'll get to that point. But for right now, you know, we're choosing to be able to spend it together. Um, you know, even if that means we have a smaller bank account number, um, it's worth it. Like when we get to yeah. together. We are very blessed to have uh, great families, friends, and an amazing support system, and they make it super easy for us. There's so much support that we have, and uh, it makes you appreciate the small things. Uh, All right, so that wraps up our little question and answers video about the baseball life, and we hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below, and also like, subscribe, and yeah, we hope to see you again soon. Oh, let's knock it over.